Okay, so we're going to remove the uh, rear wheels first. Okay, so next will be the hub. We're going to install the uh, front hub to the rear part of the uh, Xiaomi scooter. So first to do that we need to cut. This uh, back part here. We're done on the right part side. What we're going to do is uh, see that. Okay, so we're going to make a thread on those uh, on that, and then um, M6. Okay, so we're going to make an M6 thread through there so that we can still. This the bolt that is used to um, attach the rear wheels, the original rear wheels. Okay. So let's um, make a thread first, and uh, we're going to remove the um, stator. Okay. So I removed the stator from the hub. Okay, so it's mounted now. This is how it will look like. The right side it's a nut and then on the left side it's a bolt. Okay, so for all of the uh, for all of the ideas that I um, I have come up with, this is the thing, the cleanest um, well installation of the rear disc that I could think of is uh, to install this um, Thread type, uh, thread type bike uh, disc bracket. Okay, so I'm going to uh, screw three of these into the hub, and then three will be used for the um, rotor disc right here. Okay, so I've glued it first so that, um, well, these are the uh, glues that I used before several attempts to uh, make sure that this is centered and um, I will have to drill three holes here okay okay so I'll drill it first and uh, install it this is the uh, finished product Okay, so here it is. Uh, here it is. I'm just going to um, create a bracket here so that I can install it here.
Okay, so this is for the front hub. I did the same, the um, rear hub. Okay, so I'll just uh, modify the front fork and uh, so that uh, it will, this will fit to the to the uh, front. I mean fork. Okay, so for the front part, uh, what I did is I cut off an aluminum. Um, sheet. It's um, two pieces of a 3mm aluminum sheet. So, and I've screwed the holes. I mean, I've um, drilled the holes here through the um, uh, fork. And uh, I'm just going to put back all of the uh, plastic parts okay so this is the battery uh, battery that I'm going to use this is from another uh, scooter and this is the controller I'm going to uh, change it to uh, 48 volts um, the supplier doesn't have any yet so uh, they re they are restocking and uh, it's the throttle that I'm going to use And uh, we're going to use two of these batteries since we're going to do uh, dual hubs. Okay. I found the scrap um, somewhere in the house, and uh, this is a scrap from um, home lighting system, and uh, this is an alloy. So I'm going to use this for the added. Um, uh, battery. Okay. So for the mount, uh, for the mounting, um, I've glued. I uh, use glue gun to glue this. Um, uh, to glue the um, uh, deck cover for the M365 to the uh, aluminum case that I found, and I uh, drilled holes so that. Uh, and just mount it right there and I uh, use the stock, stock bolts to tighten it Okay, so for the wiring the um, uh, controller, I mean the throttle, uh, what you will do is to connect uh, these two buttons, uh, this button here to the um, other uh, throttle, okay? So you will connect uh, these two, uh, two lower parts right here to the other uh, switch right here okay on the lower part so these are the two wires that I will be using and then uh, we'll put it here okay so that if you turn it on or either of those uh, they will both turn on the same time okay and then uh, for the um, for the uh, throttle uh, what you will do, uh, what I did is to uh, remove or cut the other wires here. Okay. So I removed the um, hall sensor here uh, on the throttle, and I'm going to use the stock um, throttle on the M365. Okay, so this is the hall sensor. This is what it will look like. So you will cut uh, all the three um, legs. Okay. And then uh, solder each of the wires from the M365. This is the um, M365 connector for the throttle. And uh, connect the red to the left most here. And the middle will be the ground. 
and the third, uh, the right side would be the uh, signal. Okay, and then I added the switch so that uh, the signal won't uh, reach this other throttle if you would have to just use one hub. But if you want to go dual hub or two hubs that is there, that are working together, you uh, will just have to turn this on. Okay, so any sw uh, any switch will do. Okay, so just open up this throttle and uh, solder wires and uh, just connect um, the wires together. All right, so I'm so excited to try this. So. I just zip tied it here first uh, for now and I'm also going to make a cover uh, like this and screw it here but for the meantime zip tie this and also cardboard for the back but I'm going to change that on uh, with an alloy sheet like this um, well <laughs> I want to try this baby out okay so let's try it out Okay, so these are the these are the uh, two control uh, throttles. Okay, so we're going to try and uh, ride it around town and try to ride it. Ooh. that we built uh, that we added beneath the deck uh, it's making the scooter uh, scooter's ground clearance low so uh, next project will be adding uh, suspension to the uh, scooter uh, to make it a little bit to make it a little bit higher but for now and also adding the uh, battery to 48 volts so that we could get a little bit a little bit more top speed so the top speed that uh, we have now is 28 and that's really the uh, top speed for the uh, mobile controller and uh, 36 volts battery and uh, what you will feel firsthand is the uh, torque Definitely the torque is much higher because <laughs> you're driving two hubs, right? 